finally, 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 finally. A drama with getting the internet connection on this thing working. This is really just a, uh, a very quick video to confirm that. And uh, while I'm at it, to show the, um, uh, the work we've been doing on the freeze menu so that you can now uh, create uh, disk images on the go. So we can say we want a new DD, so a DAD1, so 800k image. So new DD, we'll call it for argument's sake. It'll chug away for a little bit and create it. And we can then see that that's been uh, created and we can save something on it. And it will all update. Uh, but we can also now create the high density D65 images. So these are the ones that uh, we'll use the uh, the new crazy RLL encoding and the like. Again, process is really the same to, uh, to create it. And again, you'll see that it mounts it there, but we could also uh, mount those on the second drive on device nine. But for the moment, we'll just stick with what we've got there. Um, you will see that it still only has 3160 blocks free. That's because the DOS doesn't yet know about the high density disks. Uh, but again, you know, we can still uh, put things on the uh, the disk image and it will be up to the DOS to, uh, uh, to make use of that. But you could also, in your code, you could have normal 800K of data uh, on there. Uh, and then uh, have your software directly talk to the floppy controller to access the extra about two and a half meg almost uh, that the uh, the disks will be able to fit. So yeah, the, the workflow for that's now really nice and simple. Um, yeah, and the internet's working on my box again. So this is good. Okay, take care folks, we'll catch you around.